remember in high school you only have four summers in high school to do something that it, that is um, that is valuable. So I think. What I've learned from college admissions and talking to people at Harvard and Stanford and some of the most selective colleges in the United States is summer is actually um, a very important part of the college admissions process too. So when I was a kid, I did nothing in the summer. I played football with my friends, I hung out. You can't really get away with that anymore. So I think what, what colleges are looking for is for students to pursue an interest, show an interest in something, not just sporadically, but over time. So for example, if you're interested in engineering or architecture, you start with maybe uh, an architecture course after your first year of high school summer. Then you, then you take it out, um, then maybe you spend some time in an architect's office, et cetera, et cetera. So you, so you follow this, this um, interest over an extended period of time because it shows that you're truly motivated and you have a genuine interest. Um, and again, that colleges are, are look upon that very favorably. So within that community too, it's it's learning how to to have a roommate, for example. A lot of students have never been away from home before, so having a roommate. One a mother whose son went on one of our programs a few years ago was, apart from all the classes, apart from all the activities, apart from the friends her son made, the thing she was most excited about was that her son had actually learned how to do his own laundry that summer. So, you know, there are, there are lots of different benefits to these programs. Um, the other opportunity that I think is really important in the summertime is high school students, certainly in the United States, I'm sure it's similar here, are under a lot of pressure during the academic year. So. But the summer is really an opportunity to, to get away from some of that pressure, to really learn for the sake of learning, take some classes, take some risks, take some um, classes that you might normally have, not normally have had a chance to do during a regular academic year. You don't have to worry so much about grades or GPAs or test scores. It's really an opportunity to explore or take an existing interest further or I think equally importantly, try your hand at something completely different, completely new. And when you're doing that with an, a new group of students and when you're in that type of supportive environment, it's, it's really a tremendous way to, to really explore your interests and take a deep breath and, and really find out what motivates you, what's important to you. Because going to college in the United States is a massive investment. So you don't want to go for the wrong reasons. You want to try and be able to focus as early as possible on where your interests lie to make those college years the most valuable in every sense of the word.